All right, everybody, welcome back. So this is my dad's Honda Rebel 300, and we're gonna pull the fuel tank off and replace the fuel pump inside the fuel tank because we think it's bad. Um, to get the tank off, you gotta start with this 5 16 Allen key right here. And loosen that up. Not super complicated. And I'm gonna put the bolt back in so that I don't lose it. Set it right there on top of that. All right, so the next step is gonna be underneath the fuel tank. There's gonna be some hoses right here that we have to disconnect underneath here. Let's see if I can get a little closer view for you. So you can see you have your fuel pump connection here. You have a vent hose that's right here and there is an electrical connector. So your first thing you got to get these two, this vent hose off first and then this one you have a little bit of slack in. So I'm going to pull that up because I only have one hand and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So the couple of hoses that I got off, you have your vent hose, which is right here. There's another hose on the other side. That's a vent and you have your electrical connector and your actual fuel pump you know your supply line that goes down to the intake so the only thing i got left to pull off is that clip and this one which i've heard can be a little bit of a booger so um i'm gonna have to put the phone back down and try to get that off but i think it's got these little clips that come out and then it just slides off i'll be right back okay we got the tank off the double clip on the fuel pump side is a little tricky to get to um you have a little plastic piece that pops out and then you have to come in from the other side and open open up some other little clips and then it just pops right off. So now we're going to pull this old this whole fuel pump assembly out and this is a number 8. Number 8. That's not a number 8. Okay, 10 millimeter. We got our 10 millimeter. So now all we got to do is break these loose and pull the fuel pump out. Pull the fuel pump out, and boy, this fuel smells nasty. Okay. So now, the whole assembly comes right out. So here, is the whole fuel tank and it sits like this so there's your sending unit level and the fuel pump is inside this so the next step is going to be to disassemble this and you can kind of see it right inside there that's what we're after is the fuel pump that's inside there so let me get some things organized here and i'll be right back all right everybody well with this uh, Rebel fuel pump replacement, <clears throat> we had the fuel pump itself that we had ordered uh, online somewhere where you could take the internal part of the fuel pump out, replace the pump itself with the little sock, and put it all back together with the original sending unit. Well, that pump, once we got everything out, is not the right pump or was not the right pump. So this video had been delayed by several weeks because we had to basically just buy a whole new sending unit slash fuel pump assembly. So the whole disassembly part up to the point where you pull the fuel pump out of the bottom of the fuel tank, the majority of the repair. If you were to do this from start to finish, you could probably accomplish this whole repair in 30 to 40 minutes, honestly. Uh, that is with pulling the fuel tank off, flipping it over, the pump assembly out of the tank, just turn around, change the gasket out, black gasket on the pump side when it comes out you have to pull that off and put it on the new pump 
and put it all back in, tighten everything back down and plug everything back in. In this instance, the fuel tank itself had a lot of rust in it. So we had to drain the tank. We got some stuff from, it's a evapo rust. We were able to put in the tank. We had to let it sit, slosh it around on all angles of the tank tank so that we could get rid of all the rust scale that was inside the tank. There was a little bit left still. Uh, the stuff did work pretty good, pretty well. There may be some issue down the road. We don't know yet if there's any sediment that gets stuck up in the pump itself, but there is a sock attached to the pump so that it, when it pulls the fuel, it's actually going through this little filter. I don't think it's going to be a problem from what I looked at inside the tank with the flashlight. Everything looked pretty clean. All I did after that was reassemble everything, plugged everything back in. The little fuel pump supply fuel, supply line, once you take out the little plastic and then pull the two tabs apart when it comes apart, you can actually put the plastic piece back in and then when you push it on it just snaps right back on. That was the only thing we had to do there. Once we did that we primed the pump quite, uh, three or four or five times and she fired up and runs good. So just a little update. I know it's a couple of weeks late later uh, before I even released this video. So uh, this video has been about three weeks in, in process. So if you guys like this video on the Rebel, look around on my page. There's some other Rebel videos there. Really enjoyed the bike. It was a lot of fun. My dad had to get one and he loves it. He's got a 300. Check it out. Hit that like and subscribe. See y'all.